NASA stunned, Elon Musk's landmark announcement of two Starship Towers at Cape Canaveral, welcome back to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. Just as we were catching our breaths after the exhilarating moments of Starship 4 at Gateway to Mars, fresh updates on Starship flights in Florida have left us astounded. Promising to shake up the aerospace industry, leaving competitors, including NASA, in awe. Join us as we delve into the secrets behind this audacious solution and speculate on the explosive future of Starship in today's video. In early May, SpaceX conducted the most crucial wet dress rehearsal for the Starship rocket. This isn't unfamiliar territory for space enthusiasts, but the scale this time around is sure to leave you in awe. The entire simulated launch process, including fueling and countdown without engine ignition, took place. For Starship, this meant topping off all tanks with liquid methane and liquid oxygen to the levels needed for an actual flight. Remarkably, the two Starship rockets were fueled with thousands of gallons of fuel in just under an hour. The staggering speed of this test is evidence of SpaceX's remarkable improvements in their standard launch process. Their goal is to shorten the preparation time between Starship launches. As a result, the wet dress rehearsal for Starship 4 went smoothly beyond expectations. Immediately after, SpaceX happily announced, test launch for Flight 4 completed. As SpaceX prepares for the next Starship test flight, the company is also working to expand the scale of its facilities in Texas to construct and launch those vehicles, alongside post-test information, Elon Musk revealed a new launch date for Starship 4, just about two weeks away. This means that Beast Starship will take off in early June. The main goal is to max out re-entry heating. The upper stage of Starship, or the ship, suffered a rupture upon re-entry in the previous test flight on March 14th. This is the third time Musk has mentioned the launch schedule for this fourth flight, which might raise doubts for many. However, this declaration carries more weight than before because SpaceX has received positive updates from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. Kathy Luders, director of Starbase and former director responsible for NASA's human spaceflight programs, spoke at an event in Harlingen, Texas on May 14, stating, We are still working with the FAA to get a license. They are finalizing the last procedures. She said, we hope to have the license by late May, early June. On the first day we get the license, we will launch the ship, not only focusing on Starbase in Texas. SpaceX is also building a Starship launch complex at Launch Complex 39A, LC, 39A, at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On May 20, the space community erupted with promising tweets from Elon Musk, we are aiming to build two Starship launch towers at Cape Canaveral, one tower at LC 39A and another at an unspecified location, awaiting final approval. Also on May 10, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, announced the beginning of the Environmental Impact Statement EIS, to address infrastructure upgrades for Starship there. In parallel with the FAA's efforts, the Air Force is also surveying potential Starship launch sites in two areas near Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, although not officially approved. This is still extremely encouraging news for the Starship team in Florida. The removal of the old launch pad at LC 39A is not a setback but an upgrade of the launch infrastructure with newer, more modern technical mechanisms. This is evidence of SpaceX's commitment to advancing technology enabling humans to explore the vast universe. With two new launch towers, SpaceX will be able to launch Starship more continuously and efficiently, accelerating the progress of sending humans to the moon and conquering Mars. Choosing LC-39A, a historic launch pad used for Apollo missions and space shuttle flights, demonstrates the significance and enormous potential of this location. The two Starship launch towers promise to become new icons for the aerospace industry, opening the door to bold space exploration missions. At an event in 2022, Elon Musk proposed that Starbase would become an advanced research and development area for Starship, while Florida would focus on actual launch activities. However, Kathy Luders, director of Starbase, stated that both Texas and Florida would support Starship missions, especially Starship launches for NASA's Mars Landing System program. 
Landing on the moon alone requires up to 15 Starship launches carrying fuel, and they need to be conducted within a certain time frame. This estimate is higher than the figures previously provided by other company officials, Starbase will be SpaceX's workhorse. But the Florida base is also crucial for carrying out a sufficient number of missions and ensuring mission continuity. SpaceX is also addressing other issues related to Starbase and its impact on the community, from the quality of life for employees to improving traffic on the only road leading to the site, as well as encouraging the development of hotels and restaurants in the eastern Brownsville area, the closest area to Starbase. In addition, SpaceX has another important mission, sending humans to the moon with NASA. Under a contract worth over $4 billion, SpaceX will develop a version of Starship capable of crew transportation for the Artemis program, returning Americans to the moon by the end of this decade. To achieve this, SpaceX needs to deploy a fuel depot in Earth's orbit. Before landing on the moon, the crew carrying Starship will be refueled from this depot. The refueling process may require 10 to 15 Starship flights carrying propellant to fill the ultra-cold fuel tanks for the long-distance flight. The environmental and lunar mission challenges require SpaceX's relentless efforts. Do you think they can overcome these obstacles and bring humans back to our natural satellite in the near future? Florida is heating up with the prospect of two bustling Starship launch sites. However, before that becomes a reality, SpaceX needs to solve the puzzle of launching multiple Starship rockets in a short time. NASA and SpaceX have agreed on the optimal solution to alternate Starship launches from two launch pads, one in Texas and one in Florida. Additionally, SpaceX needs to demonstrate the ability to refuel Starship in Earth's orbit and design crew-friendly cabins. These are serious technical challenges that require time to address. However, history has shown that SpaceX engineers have the capability to overcome difficulties. Alongside that, SpaceX also needs time to complete the new Starship launch pad. Although the Starship launch tower frame has been built at LC-39A, this area still lacks the fuel storage infrastructure and necessary propulsion systems for launch operations. SpaceX's journey to conquer space is progressing rapidly with promising projects in both Texas and Florida. The two new launch towers at Cape Canaveral will usher in a new era for Starship, promising to accelerate the pace of sending humans to the Moon and Mars. Let's follow SpaceX and Starship's next steps in the upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the Elon Musk Signal channel to stay updated on the latest space technology and vehicles news. Thank you for watching. Wishing you exciting moments of scientific exploration. See you in the next video.